Ya les dejaré. Fuck off, bruv. I flicked one to death a minute ago. This bedroom's about to kill the man then. Oh, block, move, bruv. Pussy off. Hola, amigo, hombre. ¿Qué tal? Uh, back. We're doing a solo lonely chicken breast recipe today for all you single mums. <laughs> no, for you, <laughs> for you single men, women, they, them, dads, mums, and the other stuff. Forget me. Um, so we're doing a little solo chicken breast with sobrasada. We're going to make like a little pan, resting tray. We're going to pour it over the top. I've got some corn. Uh, by the time this comes out, corn won't be in season, but we live in the first world, a uh, first world country where things are imported at all times. Um, won't be as good, but will be delicious. You get me? So, let me talk to you about the star of the show today. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Sobrasada. It's a cured pig with paprika and salt um, made on these islands. And we're basically gonna treat it as if it's Induya. We all know what Induya is now, it's mainstream. Induya is the thing. Once you can buy something in Waitrose, it's mainstream, fam, you get me? So I'm gonna make just like a little resting mop-up tray that we're gonna rest the chicken in and then glaze or whatever. I don't know, man, we're freestyling, you get me? So it'll be fine, just follow. Um, I've got like a tablespoon, big, Two, two tablespoons, I'd say. Sobrasada, in it goes. And then it's quite a rich, fatty, intense flavor, right? So I wanna go in with acid. And where we're in Spain, these limes grow on the trees near us, so we pick some limes. There's one lime. And I feel like limes are sweeter. I'm gonna go lemon for more acid, just like so. A little suggestion of carton chicken stock. It looks quite cummy. I want a little squash of honey. So we've got acidic, fiery, sweet. And then we're gonna have like beautiful resting juices. And then I'm just gonna go a little bit of olive oil just to bring it all together, like so. Just smush the down, just so that it melts. We're gonna melt this over the fire whilst we cook our chicken, right? And then basically gonna dunk our corn and our chicken into this and have like a delicious little resting tray. So that's done. All I've got to do really is season our chicken breast. Um, nothing major, we're gonna go olive oil. Get that all over, both sides, underneath this little mini fillet. And then season her up. And give that a little season too. To the grill. I'm gonna go skin side down. I wanna make sure that the skin is like taut so that it can you have the opportunity to grill and go crispy and delicious, right? So down it goes in a nice little hot spot. Where's our hot spot here? Skin side down, don't fucking touch it. Nice little sobrasada resting tray. And we're just gonna stick this straight on, just like so. And it's gonna melt, reduce, and bubble, and give us just something delicious to dip our chicken in. Also, while I'm here, I'm just gonna 
take any husk and like puby bits off of this corn and put that on as well. Just a bit of corn. Summer corn. Nice crispy skin. Cooked about 90% of it itself. Cooked 90% of it skin side down and then moved it to a cooler spot after we turned it over. The sobrasada is like reduced down. We've turned it into like this thick syrupy almost. This is what we're gonna rest it all in, the corn and the chicken. Sobrasada rest of trays come all the way down. It's that like sweet, delicious, acidic. We flipped our chicken. It's got a good bounce to it. We're gonna pull it out and rest it in here. And we're gonna do the same with this little bit of charred corn, right? We just wanna pick up all the chicken juices in this sauce before we pour it over the top. Chicken juices, thank you. Let's go back. I'm not gonna pour the juice over the chicken just yet, but I can do that now with the corn. Just let it run through. So you've got that acidic, porky corn. Just what you want, really. Roll it around in it. Let it get in all the nooks and crannies. It's gone like sweet and jammy from the honey. It's making my mouth water. Give our chicken three or four minutes to rest. Let this seep into the corn. We're gonna carve our chicken up, plonk it on a plate, pour the sauce over the top, and yam it down. Hungry. You hear the, the, the lamb in the background? Bah! My, my guys. <laughs> Sometimes all you need is fucking one veg, some sauce, a bit of chicken, acid, sugar, and salt. <laughs> Yumsicles, right. Um, all there's left to do is just fucking dunk and plunk, mate. Beautiful chicken. Acidic, sweet, fatty undertones, like porky vibes. Sweet and sour. Do you know what it needs? It needs like a crumble of feta. I'm in the wrong country for that, but I'm imagining it's got feta on it. Right, so now we do this on the barbecue, it's a piece of piss at home, one pan meal. Uh, if you can't use sobrasada, use nduya. Everything else you can get, there's nothing else you can't get except for corn, but all year round, use frozen if you have to. Delicious, boxed, sunset, pool time. You're gonna get the pool. Gonna go bomb the water. My fingers out like this for everyone else who spent the whole day in the pool. Fuck you lot. But thank you. Over and out. Ciao. See you in the garden. What you got, man? I feel like I'm first in the
seen that girl's coming. <laughs> Chicken, soba soda, honey, Christ. lime juice. It needs a cheese. It needs like a feta, but it's nice. Don't be so sheepish. Beautiful, delicious. I'm going now. Um, I'll see you lot later. Thanks for watching. Buenos Aires. That's Argentina, isn't it? It's a city, yeah. Yep. Buenos dias. Buenos dias? Buenos noches. Buenos noches. Por favor. Good night. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Drop houses. Can you say films? Film. Films. Films.